Hi, my name's Ari Zelig. I'm an allergist and immunologist at McCulley Allergy Sinus and Asthma Centers based in Memphis, Tennessee. I have a particular interest in caring for patients who suffer from eczema. Today, I would like to answer the following questions. Can water quality affect my eczema? It seems that when I'm traveling in other parts of the country, my skin flares. Can hard water, softeners, or chlorine affect my skin? These are all great questions, and the answer is yes. Water quality can affect your eczema. Hard water, which contains higher amounts of calcium, can be irritating to the skin. In fact, studies have evaluated children with risk factors for the development of eczema, specifically those with a filaggrin gene mutation. Filaggrin is a very common gene that is associated with eczema. These studies found that children who were exposed to hard water were actually more likely to develop eczema. Hard water can bind to particles in soap, leaving a residue on the skin that's more difficult to clear. This can cause further skin inflammation. Hard water can also affect the pH of the skin, making it more prone to damage from irritants, allergens, and bacteria. Water softeners may be helpful in that they strive to remove some of these excess calcium ions from hard water. One additional consideration, if you find that your skin is flaring while you're away, is what products you're using while you're traveling. Many patients with eczema also have a contact dermatitis where they're allergic to common allergens and everyday products such as soaps, detergents, and shampoos. I would recommend always traveling with your safe, proven hypoallergenic products. If you are concerned that you have a contact dermatitis that's worsening your skin rash, I would recommend discussing the option of a patch test with your allergist or dermatologist. In regards to the question about chlorine, chlorine can also be irritating to the skin. Chlorine and other chemicals are added to swimming pools as disinfectants. I would recommend moisturizing prior to swimming as a protective measure. Once you get out of the swimming pool, I would recommend showering, patting dry, and applying plenty of moisturizer. One additional recommendation is the use of zinc or titanium-based sunscreens, as these tend to be more hypoallergenic than chemical sunscreens. Most importantly, I would like to recommend that anyone suffering from eczema Discuss what options you have to achieve clearer skin with your healthcare professional. I hope you found this information to be helpful and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.